Sebna. Uh, you must be cold. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. <sighs> I can also understand Nagme, but this is hard for me too. She acts like I caused the problem in their relationship, you know? Nagme isn't like that normally. I can't make sense out of this either. But she's been through a very hard time. She almost lost her baby. I think that's the reason, to be honest. Yes, but I'm not responsible for that. Well, I know. She'll understand that in time. But she's in a very vulnerable state. I just wish that I'd never even met Eshter. None of this would have happened if we had never met. That's far from the truth. Stop blaming yourself for all this. It'll be all right in time. You'll see. I hope so. How long have you been alone? It's been a long time. Now why is that? Mm. Because you're very beautiful. Mm. And very charismatic too. You have a different kind of energy. Thank you for that. You're quite charismatic too. You're not saying that to be polite, right? No, I mean it. You're also very handsome. You know, I thought I saw you checking me out. Shoot! Oh man, I'm busted. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to have someone in your life? Someone in love with you? Who'll love you like crazy? Every woman wants that. Every woman needs to be loved, Hakan. To love back. There's someone in your heart. <laughs> Sebna, I've fallen in love with you. Hakan. I think you got the wrong idea about me. Do you really think so? I'm sorry, Hakan. Is there someone else? No. I didn't mean to hurt you like this. Really, I'm sorry.
You should have poured some for yourself, too. No, I don't feel like it. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, honey. I'll leave you two. Who is she? Hey, Dad. Yeah? Who is she? Who? Oh, her. Um... I'm kissing my soulmate. So, let me sleep with that lovely scent of your hair, please. Someone will hear. I don't care anymore. Aren't you, my girl? I can't stand living in the same house longing for you. Neither do I, but I I don't want Guzel to become suspicious. I don't want to deal with her, please. Oh, all right. I'll go, under one condition. What is that, then? If you meet me outside tomorrow. Meet you outside the farm? <laughs> like lovers, you mean? <laughs> That's right. Like in the good old days, dear. I mean it. No, it, it isn't right. I, I don't know. Someone might see us, right? <laughs> All right. If that's the case, then I'm sleeping right here. Uh, 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 what are you doing, Alice? What are you doing? Get up, get up. Ah, you will come here. Come on, get up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a yes? Okay, leave now. <laughs> so you see, she's been kicked out of wherever she tried to go. They simply don't want her. So I couldn't take it and I felt sorry for her. So I brought her here. But this is not the way, Dad. I mean, okay, it's good that you've given her a job, but people will find it weird that you brought her here. You really should have taken her someplace else, Dad. Oh, wow, okay. I guess you haven't been listening to me. I'm telling you, she can't be alone. People are causing her trouble. Okay then, Dad. But don't you think they'll ask what pretense she's staying here under? Dad, aren't you the one who thinks about what other people think every time I do something? I'll tell them I married her then. What? What are you talking about? I'll say I married her then. What? What do you want? Basir, Elvan hasn't come home yet. Uh, I thought you might know something. Are you kidding me, thinking I care about her? Huh? Basir, Elvan hasn't come home. I fear something might have happened to her. I hope she dies so that we can all be rid of her for good. Now you listen to me. Don't you even pass by this house again, you got that? The both of you go inside. Come on. I don't want to hear the name Elvan in this house. You understand me? But son, what if something has happened to her? We should ask around. Mother, there will be no asking around. She's gone into the wild. She can go to hell for all I care. I say, where could she go, you think? 
Oh, Mom, I don't know, really. I really don't know what to do. She doesn't sit still for a moment. Oh, Elvan, oof. Listen, Dad. Do you really know what you're saying? Yes, dear, I do. I don't think you do. That girl is younger than me. She's at least 30 years younger than you. So what? What's the problem? As long as Elvan agrees, what the hell do I care? I'm not taking anything you say seriously, Dad. You should know that. Look at you. I'm not taking anything seriously. You should know that. Like, I'm your child or something. Well, you're being childish. Hey there now. Pull yourself together and stop being rude to me. You should pull yourself together. How can you talk to your father like that? I'm your father, damn it. Look at her. Look how she talks to her father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bickering, back-talking her father. I've spoiled her way too much. Do you know where Edgeter is? Where could he possibly be? In the bride's room, of course. someone in your heart. I just wish that I'd never even met Eshter. None of this would have happened if we'd never met. Hakan? Hakan? What's wrong with you? What'd you do? It's nothing, I'm sorry. Is there something you're hiding from me? Is this about Nagme? You will tell me what happened, Hakan. Hello, good day to you. Uh, I'm here to see my daughter, Elvan. She works here. Is it possible to see her? I don't know, ma'am. Go to the front desk in there. They will help you in there. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Are you here about Elvan, ma'am? How, how do you know her, dear? I'm her mother. Of course, everybody knows her. Can you tell her that her mom is here and I need to talk to her? She quit, didn't she tell you? No, dear, she didn't tell us a thing. I'm not surprised. What are you talking about? Not a thing. Wait a second. Now, why are you being so sarcastic? You wouldn't like it when I'm angry. I see. Mother, just hold on. She's a witch, just like her sister. What did you just call I say, me? Hold on, dear, hold on. Uh, do you know where she is? Please, I'm just so worried about her. She's staying at our boss's. What? What do you mean? What do you think, ma'am? She's the boss's mistress now. Hey, what are you talking about? Why are you spreading lies say, about on, my, my sister? Dear. What are you saying? I say, hold on. I will kill you. You hear me? I say, kill hold you. on, honey. Do you honey, hear what I on. say? I say, hold on. I say, please, for God's sake, hold still. Mom, did you not hear them? They're talking total nonsense. All right, dear, all right. Uh, why don't we go to that man's house, then? Why would we go to that man's house? Honey, we'll see Elvon and talk to her. Mother, don't you see? She's going anywhere she likes. Enough already. What should we do? Leave your sister all alone? Does your daughter act like she's all alone? See that? She doesn't sit still for a moment's time. And now what will happen if Basir finds out about this, huh? All hell will break loose. Oh, Alvan, oof. 
Come on, honey, come on. Come on, go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Goodness gracious. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. What is this? Did you prepare this? I did. I wanted to, you know? So I asked the other employees for help. I guess they didn't mind helping. Thank you, Elvod. But you just put two plates down. Uh, I'll eat in the kitchen. Oh, no, you won't. Go get yourself a plate and a cup. Pronto. Go on. Thank you. But I'll let you two eat. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. Enjoy your breakfast. So what is this? Look at your face, all sulking-like. You have made me lose my appetite right before breakfast, honey. Hello, Hakan? Is that so? I'm fine, I'm listening to you. Are you okay? Okay. Okay, don't you worry, we'll, we'll talk when we meet, okay? Do not worry about it. You did the right thing in the end. Enjoy your food. Where have you been, honey? Where is Nagme? In her room. She isn't having breakfast with us. She'll be here soon, Mom. Hmm. Well, we'll be doing the selling of the lands with Mr. Kunit later on today. Sounds good to me. Well, okay then. Let's not waste too much time and leave now. Alice? Well, you haven't finished your breakfast. What's the rush, son? Mom, we'll have a long and nice breakfast tomorrow if everything goes according to plan, huh? We must go now so that not to be late. Okay, son. All right, then. Best of luck to you both. Come to the table, honey. See? It's your favorite omelette, my dear. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Enjoy your breakfast. Edgeter, do you mind if we talk a second? What's the rush, dear? Have your breakfast first, then you can talk.
Go on without us. We'll have it later. How can we, dear? How can we? You each go your separate ways, my dear. How can we comfortably eat like this? They're going to argue again, don't you think? What's so important we have to talk about now? Important to me and maybe not to you. I'm listening to you, dear. Hakan went out to dinner with Sebnam last night. Again with Sebnam, is it? Honey, I'm tired. You haven't heard what I need to say, though. I know what you're going to say. We always talk about the same thing. You don't care about me. You don't care about what I go through or what I feel, do you? You can't find it in you to listen to me anymore. Honey, what did I tell you? Please don't, please don't do this. Don't pretend to console me, all right? I'm not trying to console you. But honey, listen, I'm a human, though. I'm tired of talking about the same things all the time. Do you think I want to talk about these things? You've involved that girl in our lives, and now you act like it's my fault, don't you? Nagme, what else do you want me to do? What else is there? I didn't partner with her. What more then, huh? I want you to see that I'm right. I want you to see that this isn't just jealousy. I'm listening. Why do you always do that? Why do you pretend like you understand me after you break my heart? Honey, I am sorry. I'm listening, okay? I am. You've always been so unfair to me. You broke my heart because of that girl, when in fact I was right. Sebnam confessed her love for you, Edger. What? What are you talking about, Nagme? That's impossible. You're still trying to defend her. I'm not defending her. I just don't think that that's possible. She told Hakan last night. And if you don't believe me, you can go and talk to him. Sebnem confessed her love to me, right? And to Hakan? Is that it? She said that there's someone in her heart. What's wrong with that? Hakan knew she was talking about you. <sighs> Honey, I love only you. And that's final. It's not, Edgeter. You've made me cry over that girl countless times. I can't take it, do you understand? I can't take it anymore. Honey, not because of her. You're just being jealous. Admit it. Why don't you just admit it? You've never put yourself in my shoes once. You've never tried to understand me. You've never trusted me. You never believed me, Edgeter. Nagme. Nagme! Uh-oh. I wonder what happened. What do you think? She's obsessed with Sabnan. Didn't you see? She was acting all mad at breakfast right now. Seems she is not on a good path and she may harm her baby. You know, if she keeps up with this act, that is, of course. Sefika, stop talking like that. What's that supposed to mean? Am I not right, Mother? Isn't she going to give birth to your grandchild? She should be more careful then. Enough, Sefika. Shut up like things aren't crazy as they are. My mouth went dry. Ooh.
Sebnam, where are you? I need to talk to you about something. Okay, I'll see you. What are you doing here? I'm here to rescue you. Fayez, leave. Don't cause any scenes. W what do you mean? I, I thought that you would... Fayez, please leave. Look, Mr. Kudret shouldn't see you. But Elvan... No buts, Fayez. I can't go out. I can't even keep a job out there. What are you saying, Elvan? We talked about this. We're gonna get married. W we were going to start over. so very much. Let's get out of here, please. Let go of me! Well, Let me go! I won't go! Let me go, there? you jerk! Let me Where go! go? Let, Let me go, go you jerk! It's all right. Get out of here. You won't get away with this, Elvon. You hear me? Who the hell are you? How did you get in? Let go of me. Get no, out. You won't get, get out. away with this. Get out, Let you jerk. Go. Get out Let of here. Go. Get your hands off of me. You won't get away with this, Elvon. Do you hear me? Huh? You hear me? It's over. No. It's over. Yeah. It's all right. Don't worry. You're safe now. Nobody can do anything to you. I will protect you, so don't be afraid. It's over now. Let go of me! Let me go! Thank you, Mr. Kudret. I can't thank you enough. For what, dear? What did I do? You saved my life. He would have killed me if you hadn't come. Look, it's all over now. Don't worry, he can't do anything. That man is a maniac. He doesn't leave me alone. All right, okay. It's all over now. It's all in the past. It's done. Have another sip. I think I need to leave here. That's what you think. They won't leave me alone. I don't want anything happening to you because of me. No. Nothing's going to happen. They can't do anything at all, do you hear me? Don't you worry about me. Just feel comfortable. I feel good that you're here. You're protected here now. Listen to me. What you want is important to me now. And if you want to stay here, I'll do what's necessary. I'll do anything to help you stay here.
Oh, you've done your hair. You've put lipstick on. Where are you going? Is there a wedding that we don't know about? Stop it, Guzel. I need to do some shopping. I'll be back soon. Do you always go shopping all dressed up? I don't know what happened lately, but you spend too much time in front of the mirror. You walk around like you're a painting hanging on the wall. Nothing to say to you. A painting. That jealous woman. She went off the rails. She's so stupid. But I will bust you with your lover, woman, and get you kicked out of this house. And where are you going? First Besame, and now you after her. Besame is going shopping. I know better, though. Didn't you see how she's dressed? I'm sure she's meeting her lover. I'm going to find out who that man is. Well, oh my god. There aren't any sane people in this house. Mr. Kudret. Huh? You've been coming more frequently lately. What gives? I have a good reason. Well, that's good. How do you want it? I don't know, man. Look at me. I look like a grandfather. I don't know if you should cut it from the ends, trim it, trim it, make it shorter, or cut it all. I don't know. Do it Italian style. Make me look younger a little bit. I want to look younger, that's all. All right, sir. Whatever huh? you want. Oh, Junette. Junette! Ju call him over, will you? Excuse me, sir? Hello? Mr. Kudret is asking for you. Come in! Come on in! Oh! How are you? Thank you, Mr. Kudret. I'm fine, and you? Have a seat. Junette, I normally don't see you around here. What brings you around here? I'm heading to Yenil Mesler. Yenil Mesler, huh? What are you going to do with those useless people? I'm buying their lands. We're settling that. Their lands? What lands are those? Oh, Holly. Yes, sir. Oh, are the files ready? Yes, they are. They are oh, all Oh, where ready. the hell could this man be? Nothing should be missing, okay? I checked them all twice myself. Well, where is the turnip juice? Hot turnip juice, huh? Uh, Listen, dear. This man is going to save us. We have to welcome him well. Uh, Go on, bring us some turnip juice now. Go get it. Okay, I'll bring it right away. Come on now, man. Come on, come on now. And let's get this over with. Come on. Look, this is some golden advice for you for free. I'm all ears, Mr. Kudret. Now then, if you don't buy Yanil Mez family's lands today, then what happens? They go broke. And? Look here, are there any other people who can afford to buy those lands besides you and me? Now I ask you that. No. No, there isn't. Then let them go bankrupt. What's it to you? What's your point? Think about it, Chunet. If, if they go bankrupt, what happens? We can buy those lands for very little money. Why should you pay double, triple, or quadruple the price when you could buy them for half the price? But I promised them. Come on, man, you're in the trade business. Are you after a promise or making a profit? Huh? Don't forget this advice I give you. Bring it. Hold on now. Oh. Oh, yes, hello, Kunit. I've been waiting for you here since this morning. Huh? Simon, I changed my mind about the land. 
You changed your mind. We've decided that they are more than we can afford at this time. Wait, Kunit. What the hell are you talking about, man? This isn't child's play, huh? I'm very sorry, Simal. And you're telling me you're sorry? Look at you, you, you schmuck! Simal, you're being rude now. I'm being rude, huh? You're not being rude, but I am. Is that it, huh? Let me tell you something, but... What the hell am I gonna do? What the hell am I gonna do? What? Mr. Samal, hello. You know, I'm very fond of you. I get it. That explains who has dissuaded Kunet, doesn't it now, huh? Kudret Soilu. Move aside. Yes, I'm listening. Sebnam. I don't know how to say this. Please forgive me, but I need to ask something. Well, sure. Go right ahead, then. Uh, uh, Nagme and I are at odds because of this partnership thing. I know, but we aren't going to be partners. Yes, yes, but that's not the problem. <sighs> Nagme. Nagme thinks... thinks that you like me. I don't think that's possible, though. But if... if that's the case, then... you should say so. Sebnim. Is this true? Why then? Why did you do this? We are on the verge of breaking up because of you. I was unfair to Nagme because of you. Ejder, I'm so sorry. At first, I didn't feel like this, but as I got to know you, I... What difference does it make? You've manipulated me, Sebnem. Because of you, I hurt my wife, who I love more than my life. Countless times you did. And you didn't say anything, although you stood by and watched. Well, because I wasn't sure about my feelings. But I was sure of mine. I thought you were smarter than this. Someone who knows what she wants. I was sure you were cool, Sebnem. Guess I was wrong. because of her. You're just being jealous. Admit it. Why don't you just admit it? 
You've never put yourself in my shoes, not once. You've never tried to understand me. You've never trusted me. You never believed me, Edgster. Not me. How are you? Are you better? Look, if you insist on doing this, you will harm the baby inside you, God forbid. Besides, you're getting mad for nothing, dear. Ejder is an honest man. He won't do anything like that. But of course, Sebnem is an attractive girl, you know. She has good manners, that one. She's sincere. But that's over now. Don't think too much about that. Come on now and get some rest. You shouldn't exhaust yourself. Come on now, get some rest. 